Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Chess 729 by Philip Newman. This is an anti-king Sudoku, and that means we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And in addition to that, we have an anti-king rule, and that just means that digits that are the same can't touch each other diagonally. So for example, because this is a 9, Normal Sudoku rules say none of these cells that it sees can be 9, but also the anti-king rule says that this cell, which touches it diagonally, cannot be a 9. Or because this is a 7, these also can't be 7s in addition to the normal Sudoku rules. So let's check it out. So if we look at these 3s, we have a 3 in one of these cells. If we look at these 5s, we have a 5 in one of these cells by normal Sudoku, but this 5 would touch this one, so the 5 has to be right there. We need to place a 7 somewhere in this column. It can't go in these two rows because they already have their 7s, so that's going to be a 7. And then we'll mark these as a 6-8 pair. And then we need a 7 in this region too, and it can only go here because we have 7s in rows 1 and 3 already. And then these guys are going to be from 4, 6, and 8. That can't be an 8. Okay. So now we need an 8 somewhere in region 3. We have 8s here, 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 and here. So the only place left for an 8 is going to be right there. These are going to be from 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this column because we have all the other digits as given. That's not a 2 or a 4 because it sees those. That's not a 3. That's not a 2. So that's not going to give us a whole lot just yet. Oh, we have these two 7s here, so there must be a 7 here in this region. And now we need a 7 in one of these cells to put a 7 in region 5, but it can't touch this one, so it has to go right there. That leaves only one spot for 7 in region 4, and only one spot for 7 in region 6. So that's actually all of our 7s complete. Here we're going to need 3, 5, and 6 to finish this row. We can just pencil that in, and that isn't going to go anywhere just yet. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Now, in this region, we're going to need 5, 6, and 8. We have 6 and 8 here, so that's a naked 5. There's a 6 here, so that makes this the 8, and this the 6, so that's not an 8. So that resolves our 6, 8 pair. So these now are going to be 3, 5, and 9, and that's not a 3 because there is a 3 in the row. I need a 4 and an 8 here. I know which way they go because the 8 can't touch another 8, so that must be a 4 there. And that is not a 4. So now we need to place an 8 in region 7, and by Sudoku it can only go here. And the 8 in region 5 can only go here. That makes these guys 2 and 4 to finish off the row. And now we need 1, 3, and 9, so that'll be a 9 right there. And a 1 and 3 to finish the region, because there's already a 9 in row 4. That leaves us with a 2 to finish off this row, and these are going to be 1, 3, and 5 to finish off row 6. Now, in this column, we're going to need 1, 2, and 6, and those can't be 6s because we have a 6 there. In fact, that's my 1, that's my 2, and that's 6. These will be 1, 2, and 5. The 2 can only go right there, and then these digits are going to be 1 and 5. And that makes this a 3 and a 1, the 1, 5 pair. And now we're going to place a 4 to finish off this column. My last two digits in this region are 3 and 9, like that. In this row, I need a 2, 4, and 6. The 2 can't go there, so it must go there. The 4 resolves this 3, 4, which resolves everything else in this column. And now in this row, I'm going to need to finish off with a 9. Then I need 1, 4, and 6 here. That's not a 4 because it touches a 4, and it sees a 4 there. Now, in this row, I need um, 1, 3, 5, and 9. That's not going to be a 9 because there's a 9 in the column. Here I need 1, 5, and 9. It's not a 1 because it touches a 1, so this is my 1 in row 7. That makes this a 5, which removes 5 from all these cells and from this cell. Now this is the only position left for a 5 in this column, so that's going to be my 5, and that makes this a 3. Nine. And how do we finish this up? That can't be a 6 and that can't be a 6 because they both touch that 6. So that's going to finish things up for us. Or at least it should. And I'm just finishing up with classic Sudoku. There we go. And that's how you solve Philip Newman's Chess 729.
Hope you guys liked that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video, and I'll see you again in a few days.